So for my project in college, I built a Tesla coil from scratch. Uh, it took about six or seven designs to fi finally come up with the, the specifications for this one. Uh, let's see, I had to do a whole bunch of different calculations for the number of turns on the primary, and then that would give me the resonant frequency of the secondary and the number of turns and the gauge of wire, but I eventually came up with this design that I was satisfied with. Uh, let's see, you can see it here. It uses two neon sign transformers uh, in parallel. They're 9,000 volts on the secondary and 60 milliamps each, which would combine to 120 milliamps total, and that would go into a um, 3.0352 microfarad capacitor bank at uh, 16,000 volts and then that would go into the uh, spark gap which I kind of changed this to not a rotating but a stationary spark gap just for simplicity and then uh, everything else is the same it has five turns it's one, uh, one wire for the primary and 1200 turns of 24 gauge wire on the secondary and a 4 inch toroid made out of aluminum ducking. So I guess I'll give you guys a little uh, walkthrough of what the components are that I mounted to uh, wire reels that I found. Uh, this is the input wire from the outlet. It uses about uh, a thousand watts like a hair dryer and so that wire goes in and it goes to my control box down there which is on and off just for safety I wanted to be away I've never built one before but uh, I thought this would be a cool project and it turned out pretty well as you'll see later uh, then I have a little fuse here just in case uh, it gets too much current draws too much current then I have two neon sign transformers. It's hard to see here, but they're 9,000 volts, and they're connected in parallel, right there. Then I have a spark gap in between them, just in case uh, the voltage gets too high. Uh, let's see, the next one would be capacitor bank. This one is the uh, second version. The first version kind of blew up on me. As you can see here, this is uh, let's see, 12, this is exactly what I calculated the resist uh, the the capacitance should have been, but I realized after that uh, the it's got to be three times the capacitance and uh, the voltage that was most important, and so it blew a few holes into the capacitors. So I upgraded them to electrolytic capacitors, and here. Uh, the specifications. Uh, I connected them in series. Uh, it's hard to see, but it's 0.3 microfarads at 9,000 volts peak. So that gives me uh, 32,000 volts, which is plenty enough for 9,000 volt transformers. And then we come over here to the spark gap. Uh, these are brass rectangle plates that have copper uh, copper wire, uh, like a ribbon, in between them bent so that I can uh, change the spark gap length. See, I, I short out a few of these, and if I wanted to make them longer, I'd longer spark gap, I'd pull a few out, or if I wanted to make it shorter, I'd short them out. And I added a computer fan. Um, the only issue is, is that it's not powerful enough. After a few minutes of operating the Tesla coil, it really smells like ozone. So it's it's got to be a bigger fan if I were to do it over again. Here's the relay that turns the whole thing on and off. And um, let's see, here's the discharge circuit that I added later because I wanted a safety. It has two. What are these? 
point two. Sorry, this is three thousand amps, three thousand ohms. GE old resistors, and they're for high power. And then it goes into a light bulb, which I've never seen turn on, but I guess that's a good thing. Um, let's see here. Here's the the primary. It's one out wire. And the way I tune in to it, tune this coil, was that I cut little slits into it, the wire insulation, and then I'd add, connect this tap to it to see if it's the right resonance. Uh, you could see I, I made a few, I tested it a few times. <laughs> uh, then, uh, then this is the secondary coil. It's made with 24 gauge wire and has 1200 turns. It's painted with uh, varnish to make it stay together. And then up top is the, the toroid. I made out of a few pie tins and aluminum ducting. And it works very well.